This is a quick tutorial on using StarPro to create highly realistic, perfectly anti-aliased star fields for your 3D animation scenes. In this video, I'll show you how to add a star field to a shot created in Maya and then composited in Nuke. Here we've got a shot in Maya of a spacecraft flying by the camera. I've already rendered out elements of the spacecraft, some texture billboards with a nebula texture on them, and a lens flare. In a moment, we'll go into Nuke and use StarPro to create a realistic star field. Before doing this, we have to export the camera information from Maya into Nuke. There are plenty of tutorials on the web about how to do this, so I won't go into it here. I'm using Maya and Nuke in this example, but StarPro is compatible with any 3D animation package that can export camera information to either Nuke or After Effects. Installing StarPro is very simple. When you download it from our website, you'll see a zip file containing a few files here. All we need to do is put this in the plugin directory for your compositing system. With Nuke on the Mac, that will be under Users, Your Username, dot Nuke. Drag the files into there, and StarPro is installed. If you purchase StarPro, you'll be emailed this starpro.key license file, which will unlock the full version. Other compositing programs have different locations where you need to install the files. Please check the StarPro manual for more information. One more note, if you want to create realistic deep sky Milky Way effects, we recommend downloading the large 2 million star database called Hipparchos Tycho from our website. You get the separate file, hiptyke3d.stars, just drop it in the same directory. Here's our composite in Nuke. I've got elements loaded in for the spacecraft, textured billboards with a nebula, and a lens flare, all comped together. I've also imported the camera from Maya using the FBX export and import options. StarPro needs to have the camera motion so it knows where to render the stars. Now let's get the StarPro node going. You'll find it under Other, then All Plugins, and you'll have to update the first time, but then you'll find it under S for StarPro. Here we go. Before we do anything else, we have to set the star database file to one of the .stars files, either downloaded with StarPro or separately from our website. Here I'm going to use sky2k.stars. Next, we need to connect StarPro's camera input to the scene camera. And I'm also going to turn up luminance threshold so it renders more quickly for preview purposes. You can see here that StarPro is already tracking the camera move imported from Maya, and it's automatically applying motion blur. Now we just need to tie this into our comp. And there's our star field. Now I'll run through some of the basic controls on the StarPro compositing node. Star brightness controls the overall intensity of the effect. Another important control is brightness bias. This controls how bright the dimmer stars appear in relation to the brighter stars. By default, StarPro is designed to give a realistic looking sky, but if you'd like the dimmer stars to come out more, you can just raise the brightness bias control. Another important option is luminance threshold. This is kind of like a render quality switch. StarPro won't render any stars that are dimmer than this value. You can turn it up to make StarPro render very quickly for preview purposes. Then for final renders, turn it to say 0 .00001. StarPro also has tinting controls in case you want to give the star field say a warm color tint. Just turn up the saturation and the tint strength. If you want to create realistic Milky Way effects, please download the hiptyke3d.stars database from our website. This is a file containing over 2 million background stars. It's so dense you can even see the Milky Way. When using this database, make sure to turn luminance threshold all the way down because all the additional stars are dim ones, and they won't be rendered otherwise. 
This has been a quick tutorial on StarPro in Nuke. StarPro is compatible with any 3D animation package that can export camera information to either Nuke or After Effects.